Greetings, my fellow gardeners. Welcome back to my channel. I just want to show you what's happening back there. Of course, this isn't my land. I will say that again. They can do whatever they want. Now, I can say, though, if this was my land and I had the money that they have, I would... I would make it permanent open space and I would donate it back to the town and just make it into a park and in a place where people could play. But today it looks like they're removing all the trees that they cut down. And um, I want to talk about what I'm thankful for right at the moment because you can see that tree right there. They left that tree and I am really thankful for that. Um, I did beg the guy, I begged him to leave me leave me some trees and um you know i don't know if they had that in their plan or not but i can see that from my my kitchen window and so you know what that's what's good that's what's good now the purpose of this video though is you know i guess to update you on that um but i'm gonna try to make the best of it because i haven't wanted to come out into my garden since they started on monday and everything is getting like out of control but I really need to not let this disconnect me from what I created out here. Um, so my mom was just over and she's excited about the castor plant that I gave her. And I wanted to show her mine and there's mine. And I am like, this is definitely something that lights me up. Like I've been growing this since, since the winter time. And it's, this is the most beautiful one that I've had so far. Let's see. Can we even see it? I mean, it's, it's spectacular. It's really spectacular. So I wanted to showcase what was, what's still right, what's still good, what's still exciting. And I don't want to lose my excitement for what I've created back here um, because I spent a lot of time and effort. And I've got lots of tomatoes over here. I got my whole medicine garden on this side. Look at this. I have another castor right here. And this one, I started a little bit later. So you can see it's a little bit behind. And uh, over here, I've got like all these little pumpkins growing in. And so, you know, there's still a lot to be excited about. There's still a lot to be thankful for. So I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm going to put on headphones. I'm going to try to drown out all that noise. And I'm going to enjoy this. Now, another good thing that has come out of this, I've noticed since I've been out here. Ooh, I see I have 10 caterpillars. Um, I just noticed that because um, I haven't been out here like I'm sad, but I got to stop. I got to stop being sad. So what I noticed was, you know, as I have been out here a little bit, um, there have been a lot more hummingbirds, a lot more hummingbirds. And they really love this right here. They love my hyacinth beans. Those are, you see, I don't know if you can see them. They're purple. They're absolutely beautiful. And I can see them from my kitchen window and and even from this back window here. And they're just absolutely beautiful. So I've seen more wildlife, more butterflies, other birds, the Eastern goldfinch as well. So since they've displaced a lot of the animals, I do expect that I'll probably see more here, but that is a welcome visitor. All the butterflies that I've seen, um, they're, they're very welcome visitors. So, all right, well, until the next video, I hope this finds you well. See you later.